time tonight. I simply just want to discuss the uh, phone conversation I had with the superintendent. I don't need to discuss anything else that went on this weekend. Or I just wanted to know as a governmental body, I represent the Chavez County Board of Commissioners. I represent this area. I have Commissioner Garber, Commissioner Marks, and Commissioner McMaster. That is the majority of our board at the county. We just wanted to uh, just express to you guys that if our county administrator had conducted herself or his self in any type of manner with another governmental body, we certainly would like to know. We would like to know the manner in which they conduct themselves because if we don't, we as individuals, and I'm sure you guys know being on the board, you don't get every single interaction or every single communication and you don't know what every single one is. And, but when they tend to be rude or unprofessional, uh, you know, it, it's not very, you know, it's not conducive of working together a good working environment. So I simply wanted to say, I am very disappointed in the conversation that I had. I happened to be with Commissioner Garber when she spoke with Commissioner Garber. I was very disappointed in the manner that conversation was held. <coughs> and just, uh, I just guess if, if I had questions, and I've had questions from people that have told me they don't agree with what I support on, on wind energy, on different topics, but you know, they called me and had a much more pleasant conversation, starting right out from the gate telling me they don't agree with me, than this one that was supposed to be professional and was basically started off with, I don't know who you are or anything about you, but, and I just wanted to say, I would not contact one of you individuals that way. I would not contact Genesee County, Livingston County, or any of our counties and act that way. So for me, from the four commissioners here, we wanted to come express our disappointment dissatisfaction in the way this was handled and uh, hopefully we can all just move on get over it move on it's done and over with but that's all I wanted to say and I thank you guys for your time and I would have liked to have known if it happened under my watch so thank you Steve Graves, I live at 10473 Byron Road, Byron, Michigan. Most of you guys on board know me. I don't normally get involved in too much of this. But I was appalled when I found it on Facebook of what was going on because somebody, the superintendent, was trying to push her political agenda on everybody in the county. So, Mr. You know, Graves, I'm going to take an opportunity as the board president, and if you refer to the board policy, you'll see that. Um, I have the right to prohibit public comment if the public comments are personally directed. That's pretty so unusual. To, if you could please. Coming from another elected official, if pretty you unusual. Could, if yeah, you could please, please, please direct your comments in a generic yeah. term to the board. But the, the, the comments that were made, the way it was handled, it should have never been that way. If nobody has said it's called Cindy, then it would have been nothing. You know, it's kind of like having the, you know, the Gimlet controversy. Okay, Gimlet's John Deere tractor. Mark might like farmhouse. I might, might like Ford, you know. What, what you end up with is you still have to put up with everything. You know, you can't say, oh, we're just going to have all John Deere tractors at the parade. We're going to have just Ford or Massey Ferguson or Internationals. You know, you've got to put up with whatever it is. You know, to me, it was very unprofessional to the point that it makes you wonder, you know, you're trying to indoctrinate what's going on to the whole community. What are you going to do at the school? You know, is this happening here in the school too to our children? And that's how I feel on it. You know, it was, I was there when the call came in and the police officer walked down and told the man that he had to tear, tear his stuff down or he was going to be busted for trespass. It was... Five minutes before the end of the parade, or the end of the fireworks. It was kind of like it was uncalled for, unnecessary. And yeah, we've been there all afternoon. And it was wrong. And I'm really disappointed being a resident of Byron that we had news coverage and everything else over something that there was nobody that stood up and argued about it or anything like that. The people were up there talking to them, getting on the Harley Davidson, getting pictures. Nobody complained that it was in the way for the fireworks. Nobody complained about his lights. I've seen food vendors all the way up to the same spot he was at with all their lights on. They've never been asked to dim their lights. So why this time? Why so low the Republican vote? That's all I have to say. Thank <laughs> you. 
my concerns with the Facebook post um, about how it got political and I just feel like schools should be neutral, you know, and let everybody do their thing and be okay with it and just like a, it was a, it's an, it's a, what he brought was a unity bridge, just the name, you know, just brought everybody together, made me feel patriotic to be here and have it at my school because I went to school here. I represent the second grade, I graduated from here. Um, it made me feel so good in my heart, and it made me sad that people didn't want it here. Um, I feel like we should support our president and pray for him and love him and uh, not shun him and put him out. So, thank you for letting me talk. Thank you, Ashley. Anyway, I just wanted to thank you for.